Hello, this is Dr. Kay Sweetser from San Diego State University, and I want to walk you through how I get inspired by other designs when I am tasked with creating a branded um, look and feel for a new project. So I always start with Pinterest. I create a special board that is going to be dedicated just to that particular project. And of course, I have a little bit of an idea of the direction that I want to go. And I do some searches on whatever that kind of feel is, and then design or best design, etc. And then even though the product that is coming up may not be a match for the type of product that I'm designing, so let's say I'm trying to design a uh, Instagram, you know, social media um, uh, promotion, but I end up seeing like a uh, flyer that might be posted in a hallway somewhere, right? Um, so those are two different types of products. What I'm really trying to go for here is the vibe, the feel. Does this capture the graphic elements and the feel that I'm going for with the particular brand that I'm trying to build? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you two examples here today. So you can see when I first started pinning here, um, I was going for really, you know, colorful um, while uh, a little bit sort of kind of censored look um, with some of these items is a little bit all over the place here. And then as I get a little bit closer um, to uh, kind of, you know, the algorithm figuring out what I really like, because of course, when you pin something, Pinterest is gonna show you about 10 more things that are very similar to that. And so it can start to go down a rabbit hole for you where you are really starting to fine tune and understand what the look is that you like. And so you can see here I have um, pin something that looks like it's a newspaper. It has like a newspaper filter over it. It has, you know, a little bit of the, um, you know, sort of like uh, almost censored kind of a look here. Um, it's black and white. Here it looks a little bit like a ransom note, but it has extra elements in it. Um, and this one in particular, this obit one right here in the middle, um, this one has the eyes peeking through. It has a little bit of kind of like that ransom note feel um, with a, a little bit more polished there um, and uh, really kind of starting to see okay, this is the design I'm going for. I obviously really liked that obit thing because I pinned it twice. So after a couple of different sessions of pinning, that's when I come back to the entire Pinterest board and I start to look at it and that's when it becomes evident to me what the visual elements are that I like. And I start to just make some notes about the things that I like. Now let me go ahead and show you what the actual brand ended up looking like um, for this event. Um, so here we have some name tags and you can see it has this uh, you know, media uh, kind of a, a television um, going out of, um, in and out of, uh, uh, signal here and we have a color version um, we have a lot of black and white um, we have this kind of um, newspaper kind of pixelation uh, feel here these are the um, wraps that went around either the water bottle or a coffee mug um, and then here we start to see uh, some of the pieces of this was like a, um, a messaging postcard, uh, the back of a messaging postcard, et cetera. Um, and you can start to see that some of these elements that um, were showing up on the Pinterest board were really coming into play. And then that especially is evident here when you look at what the program for this um, in-person lecture event looked like. Right, so this was the cover over here on the right hand side and on the left, this was the back of it. And you can, this looks so much like that obit one when you kind of look at it. Uh, let's see if I can even get them here on the same page where you can see how super, super similar uh, these two are. Um, so with the obit one and you can see right here, it's just, they just look so similar. So it's that process of um, pinning 
and really kind of understanding what it is that I'm looking for when I don't even really know at the beginning that brings me closer and closer. And then um, I just rebuild the elements that I like in Canvas. I'm gonna show you another example here. So that first one was from the third annual um, center lecture by the Broom Center, and this one is from the fifth annual center lecture by the Broom Center. The speaker that we had there had um, sort of like a branded color palette of her own where she was into purple and um, pink, and so we started to do a little bit of pinning here. Um, and so you can kind of see we're, we're going for uh, a very, you know, big um, profile photo and then the pinks and the purples. Um, and what we ended up with is uh, this right here, which can look really similar to that Jaden Smith one now that I look at them and I can see the commonalities here. Uh, and then here's another piece um, of the elements uh, that we created for that particular campaign. So I am not creative enough to come up with ideas on my own, but there are so many beautiful and amazing designs in a million different um, aesthetics that are on Pinterest. And what's great about Pinterest is that once you go to an actual pin, it's going to give you a lot of other suggestions underneath it. And so you're going to be quickly put into a rabbit hole and you're not even going to realize that you're starting to fine tune what it is that you like. And once you come back to your Pinterest board and you look at everything and you look for those commonalities, that's when you really start to realize the direction that your brand is going. Uh, and then once you have that direction figured out, that's when you bring it over into Canvas and you try to recreate as many of the elements, you know, little element by little element as possible and lay it out. So good luck and happy designing.